Hi, this is Rob. There are some home smart devices like this home security indoor camera that is controlled with the app. And this camera needs to be set up on your home Wi-Fi network, but needs to be set up using a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network band. Currently, there are two types of Wi-Fi network bands in the home, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. The difference between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands, the 2.4 gigahertz provides internet to a larger area, but sacrifices the fast internet speed, while 5 gigahertz provides faster speeds but restricts itself to a smaller area. If you want a longer range for your devices, use 2.4 gigahertz. If you need higher speed and could sacrifice for range, 5 gigahertz band should be used. If you have a dual band router, you may be broadcasting on two frequencies simultaneously. When your phone gets out of range of the 5 gigahertz network band, it may switch to your router's 2.4 gigahertz band. How to determine if your home Wi-Fi signal is a 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz band? You can check and see on your smartphone. Connect to your home Wi-Fi with your smartphone on Android phones, but this procedure works pretty much the same on an Apple phone. On Android, tap on the settings icon. Tap on network and internet. Right here is my internet connection. Tap on your internet connection. This window pops up. Tap on your internet connection again. Look down to where it says frequency. Mine says 5 gigahertz. So my home Wi-Fi on this internet connection is using the 5 gigahertz band. If I want to set up this home security camera, then I need to change it to 2.4 gigahertz band. First, check to see if your router is single band, supports only 2.4 gigahertz or dual band supports both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. To check this, look under your router for the router model number and check online for information about your router. Or, if you still have the router's owner's manual, check the manual. Or, newer routers have an app that you can download and use your router app to connect to the router settings. On the app, you may be able to see if you have dual bands and change one of those bands to 2.4 gigahertz. If you have a dual band router, check to see if there's a button that you can press on the router that will change the band from 5 gigahertz to 2.4 gigahertz. If you don't have an app for your router, you can go online and log into your router settings and change the network band from 5 gigahertz to 2.4 gigahertz. I have a dual band router and both of my bands are set to 5 gigahertz, so I need to change one of the bands to 2.4 gigahertz. To log into your router setting, look under your router and find your IP address and the router password. You may not see the IP address, but it may say router login details. This is what you want, the router login details. Every router is different. Your router's owner's manual should have instructions on how to log into your router online. To start the login process, go to your router login details address or type into your internet search bar the IP address that's on the back of your router. This will take you to your router's login page where you will need to use the router password. Once logged in, it will take you to your router settings page. You want to look for either advanced settings, advanced wireless, or wireless 5 gigahertz. Then on some router setting pages, you will see this. You have to check enable 2.4 gigahertz and check disable 2.4 gigahertz. Or you may see something like this. This is a dual band router and you can work with both bands concurrently. If you're out of range of the 5 gigahertz, then the router switches to 2.4 gigahertz or select only work in 2.4 gigahertz or select only work in 5 gigahertz. Each router is going to have a different way to set 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. For me, it says wireless 5 gigahertz. I will click on that. This drop down appears. For me, I want basic. It took me a few minutes to figure out what I needed to do. All I had to do was uncheck this box to disable 5 gigahertz on this band. Then I hit the apply save button and logged out. For me, I had to push the reset button on my router for this change to take effect. For my reset button, I had to use a paper clip to push in to the reset button. Then almost instantly, the changes were made. You may not need to push your reset button. Then I had to connect my phone on the Wi-Fi band, which was set to 2.4 gigahertz. I'll verify that by checking the Wi-Fi on my phone.
I now have 2.4 gigahertz on this band. Then I was able to connect the home security camera. After you set up your home smart device using the 2.4 gigahertz band, it is on the network and you can switch your Wi-Fi back to 5 gigahertz. And the home smart device will work on 5 gigahertz. You only need the 2.4 gigahertz to set up the device. And after that, you're done. You can even unplug the device and it'll still work on your 5 gigahertz because you've already set it up onto your network. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.